Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about some things that's a bit different from the typical videos that I do for my channel, but this is going to give you more insight into some of my opinions on different topics. And I do want to kind of do this here and there, you know, if I get a pretty good, decent response from this video. But basically what we're going to be talking about is dating someone with a child or children and you know, what do people think about it? And also, I'm going to be giving my opinion on it. So, what prompted me to do this, um, I did a poll on Instagram. And I did it around, I think it was like Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. But I did the poll just to see what other people were thinking. Because I kind of already had my mind made up on the topic, in a sense. And I'm not even going to say that the results made me change my opinion but it kind of made me realize that maybe I should stick to my guns I don't know but um and the poll was is dating someone for child or children is it not a big deal or is it a deal breaker and what prompted me to do this was because um I'm not sure if you know who this who these people are but um this guy Jay Morrison he got married over the let this past weekend and his name is Jay Morrison and his wife's name is Ernestine Johnson, which is Ernestine Morrison now. And they're like a real estate couple based out of Atlanta. So, um, you know, a lot of things they post are interesting to me. And you know, you follow people for a long time. It kind of feels like you, you kind of know them a little bit. Just like with me, I've been having my Instagram page since like 2012, I think, or 11. So I feel like people that's been, you know, there from the beginning, they have seen me progress and grow you know through social media contact I mean it is a real thing it's not like oh yeah of course these people don't know me personally but they do know a good chunk of who I am so to speak so I've been following them for a while so I kind of have like a good idea of the type of people that they are or whatever so I noticed like you know they posted some wedding pics and stuff it was nice pictures and she posted a picture of you know him her and their two daughters and in her caption, I noticed she said that, um, you know, how she was happy to be married and, you know, happy to have her two new daughters. So, you know, when I read that, I was like, yeah, you know, they're such a cute family to me. But I didn't know, like, I was like, oh, okay, so two new daughters, meaning that these were his children from a previous relationship, you know, I would assume so. Which is not a big deal or anything. So I was like, oh, okay. And the question just popped in my mind, like, are blended families the new norm? Like, is it the new thing that we as women, men, or whatever have to basically come to accept or come to grips with that they may be our reality? So, you know, it's, you know, I get older and it's Snapchat decided to remind me that in like, well, I guess five months now, I'll be 26. You know, it, it does have you starting to think like if you don't already have your family started or, you know, are on that track of getting married and having children and different things like that, you know, maybe you will end up dating someone that does already have a child because as you're getting older, everyone else around you are getting older, everyone else's lives are going on. So, I mean, things occur, relationships end and this and that and people have kids every day so it is very common but I did the poll and the it, the results were a bit interesting to me I'm gonna have them pop up somewhere on the screen but basically the results of them were 40% and I do have like have some notes here so if I'm looking down that's, that's the reason why but 40% said that it was not a big deal and 60% said that it was a deal breaker. Out of those, it was 50 people that voted. Out of the 50 people that voted, 20 of them said it was not a big deal. So they made up to 40% and 30 people said that it was a deal breaker, which made up to 60%. So I thought the results were a bit interesting just because I kind of just thought they were going to be opposite in a, in a way. The most people that I see like in relationships and and you know are newly engaged or newly married and different things like that more often than not I feel like the people that I see are people that are more of a blended family like either 
the female has some has children from a previous relationship or the guy you know he's a dad or whatever you know the whatever the case may be so i just kind of thought the results were going to be opposite of what they were and i did have like two three people that did kind of expound on their um their opinions on it like i had one guy he he voted <laughs> he voted deal breaker and then i guess he didn't mean to vote deal breaker so he messaged me and was like but only if it's one child or something so i was like so which one is it is it a deal breaker or is one year cut off and he was just like you know he was he went back he didn't know he had pressed that one or whatever their response but he said that two tops so basically two is the maximum amount that he would do if he was dating somebody then he went on to say but the two would be if he was the one that had two children basically meaning that he's not dating somebody that's coming into the relationship with children but if he was to have two children that would be he would think that would be like the maximum amount someone would date him if he had like two children or whatever it's at least that's what i'm getting from because when it's the conversation went on you know it got yeah <laughs> but i was just like well that's a biased opinion and i had another lady um she told me that she was actually married and they have a daughter together or yeah i think they just have one daughter together and she said that you know if she was to get divorced or something or if that was to happen she wouldn't w want to bring anyone around her children so basically like she probably would date but it probably wouldn't be like she wouldn't probably get bring somebody else around her child or whatever basically so i was like okay that's interesting that's very interesting and it just goes to show that this topic has a lot of different um what's the word a lot of different branches of it like it doesn't just stop it oh well i didn't smile for kid it goes on to like okay but why would you or why would you not you know and i didn't ask it because i feel like the poll was enough to kind of get the gist of what people's thoughts were and in my opinion at least for me personally personally i would prefer not to date someone with a child already and the reason why i say that is because there are a lot of pros and cons to the situation and i really feel like there are more cons to the situation say for instance for me me being a woman okay if i'm dating a guy and he has children already or he has um, a child from a previous relationship i'm not only dating him i have to grow to love his children as well as they were my own because typically that's what you're supposed to do if you're in a committed relationship you not only in a relationship with him, you're in a relationship with his children as well. Okay. Then, from there, you have to understand the dynamic of the relationship between him and his child's mother. Is it a good one or is it not one? A good, if it's not healthy. Or is it a thing of where it's the baby mama drama stuff? Or is it the, oh, she still wants me. She doesn't want to let me go. So, she doesn't want me, she won't let me see my children. Or... It's a thing of, oh, I don't want to pay her child support. I just want to give her money here and there when she needs it. Or I, I provide for my kids, but I want to be on child support. It's just so much that goes into it that I'm like, that just is kind of a lot of drama in a sense. Not to say that every situation is the same because there are a lot of situations that are not that at all they're you know the ideal situation oh you may get somebody has a child but they are, are the ideal person everything else is like great they have a good job they provide different things they're great parents to their child so there are different cases for you know whether you are the woman and you're dating a guy that has children or if you're a guy dating a girl that has children i do think though if you're a guy and you're dating someone that has children you definitely have to be more hands-on with the children just because typically the female has the custody has sole custody of their children so more often if you're a guy dating someone that has children you're just going to have to be around those kids way more often than if you're dating a guy that has children unless he just happens to be like the sole parent or has custody of the children which those cases are you know valid as well but that's just kind of like my little opinion on it i mean like i said before as you get older you never kind of you really don't know who's going to come in the picture and just sweep you off your feet and 
I mean, if the love is real, you're going to accept it, I think. I think you're not going to be like, oh my God, like, he's perfect in every other way. But those kids he got, like, I don't think no people do that. I will say that I have been, like, approached by people in the past that had children. And it was just kind of like, no, it's not happening. So it never went anywhere, so to speak. And it wasn't just for that reason. It was other reasons, but just saying in general also give them tiny little story time okay so i can see this guy that had i don't know if he had a child or children multiple kids at this point it was a lot of things that i just didn't know or get my clear answer of and had to wash my hands with that situation but nonetheless yeah so he had possible children out there and i'm like so i don't never hear you talk about your children I don't never hear nothing about you going to visit your children. Like, are your dad be dead? Do you claim these children? Do you know if they're your your children? Like, what's what's the deal? Or are you just kind of like, I'm not with that person, so them kids are not my priority. Like, that's a lot that you have to think about. Like, because if I'm dating somebody that has children from a previous relationship, I'm gonna be that person. It's like, okay, so. What are you going to do with your children? Are you going to do you have bonding time with them? Like I'm going to be that person because it's so important to have. If you're not even with the person that you had your kids with, it's so important for that child not to feel like, oh, I only have one parent. It's the family dynamic is extremely important in a child's upbringing. A child can't learn everything from their mom and they can't learn everything from their dad. It's just it's just not what it is. I mean shout out to single moms but it's just ideally everyone wants their child to have both of their parents in their life whether or not you with the person or not and that's the next thing I want to go into is being a step parent you know at this point in my life I don't know if <laughs> that's the lane that I want to go in you know I'm not gonna say never because I'm one of those never say never type of people but just knowing me and myself, I don't know if that's the role that I feel like I can take on. You know, and it could be, I can could, I could have a totally, totally different look, outlook on this, say, some months from now or a year from now. But at this current time, right now, July 2018, I don't necessarily want that for myself just because I feel like I'm growing still myself. I'm learning myself more every day. And I mean, some days I still feel like, oh my God, I don't want to be an adult today. So, like, if I don't want to be a grown-up, what I look like caring for some kids, you know, taking some on some more baggage in my life. So, just being completely transparent, I really don't know. But, like I said before, there are a lot of cases where I'm like, it has worked out. You take Will and Jada. You take Sierra and Russell Wilson. Like, step parents and different things are extremely important. And a lot of those relationships work. I watched the um, Jada's Red Table Talk sometimes. And she did a table, a sit down with Will's first wife, the mother of his oldest child. And how, you know, they ended up being able to have a great relationship with one another outside of Will and just, you know, her having a good relationship with his oldest son. And, you know, so there are a lot of situations that I could think of where it definitely works out. So, I was just, you know, curious to say the least on that topic, you know. And um, I want to know what your, what your thoughts are. I think I gave my opinion is fully as I could so I don't know what your thoughts are what, do you think that it's not a big deal or do you think it's a deal breaker or now that you're older you think that certain topics you feel like okay now I'm more accepting of this because I am older or do you feel like maybe you have compromised on different things because you're older like I don't know how to word it really but do you feel as though like you're your preferences change as you get older and different things because I actually feel like they do and I don't think of it as settling I just think of it as facing reality and facing 
what you have but i mean there are so many cases like of older people and they don't have children or anything which i mean if you're not rich for children or different things then don't have them that's just my sense like me right now i know that yeah like the baby fever gets real sometimes it definitely does but i personally like when i think about it i'm like have you having a little baby i don't know <laughs> i don't know like i like the idea of it but the actual putting in the actual work at this point in time i really don't know but yeah i want to know your thoughts on it let me know what are your opinions on it and also if you do decide to come in kind of you know explain why you feel that way so i can kind of you know have a little dialogue with you and i plan to you know respond back to everybody so we can actually get this conversation going but um and also like if you want to know my opinion on other topics let me know if you feel like this is not your lane stay in your lane girl then okay let me know that too so I could be like, okay, let me go back doing my makeup and show y'all some clothes. But yeah, <laughs> I have talked enough, I think, even though I actually have a lot more to say on this. But I'm going to stop here. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And leave your opinions down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.